After I stop, this is all you guys. Like, you're in charge of class today. The very first time that we do one of these whole class inquiry projects, I just tell them that the class has been hired by Wally Coyote to help him capture the Roadrunner. Essentially, I tell them that the Roadrunner is driving underneath one of the bridges in the commons in a dune buggy, and their job is to roll a boulder off of the bridge so that it'll land and hit the dune buggy as it comes out from underneath the bridge. Miss Haney just said, Go. Go. And for a couple minutes, we all just sat there we're like, uh, what should we be doing? I mean, what's going on? And then a couple people were like, let's pick out a car. Let's measure the bridge. And we all just started working together. What's that? So how long is this track right here? What is uh, that? I imagine it's about two, two and a half meters. All right, let's measure it real quick just to make sure. We did a lot of measuring the height and measuring the time of stuff, how long it would take to roll down the ramp measuring the speed of the car, and we kind of put all those calculations together to figure out when we should release the ball to hit the car. With the solution fluency, we give them skill sets in school and we give them tools, but they're going to have to solve problems that they've never encountered before. And so doing these complex problems that have so many different variables to them, they have to be able to put these pieces together and think about if I do this, then how does that affect that? And so they're constantly trying to problem solve. They'll try something. Oh, that's not going to work. I forgot to think about that. And then they have to go back and replan. Do you have this angle measurement right here? Or this, we this height? Working on it. All right, all right. It's a big group, so you had to have somebody taking lead and such. Then, you know, it's getting this massive thing together as a class. It's a lot easier when it's just two people, you know, because you have all this data and you can do it all by yourselves, you know. Whereas the whole class, you have to communicate. Everybody has to come to an agreement. So it's much harder to do in a timely manner. It's like at the beginning, there was a group working on picking out the car and finding one that didn't swerve. There's a group measuring. There's a group on the ramp. So all those groups kind of work together to figure out their part of the problem. And then we just put it all together to solve it. What I've seen a lot is like, they will recognize the strengths of their teammates. And if those teammates aren't kind of stepping up, other people will start pulling out those strengths of those teammates and asking them for their advice or for their opinion. It's something that they're going to have to do as they work to solve real life problems in the future. Three, two, one, now! Go, 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 go. Were they successful or not? Did they hit the doom buggy? No, but they were so close and they realized so. In my mind, they were successful. I thought it was kind of cool just like seeing how Miss Haney who's stay in the background and how we can work together as a team and figure it out on our own.